Now, he did another thing on Saturday. He mocked my husband's military service. Now, this is not personal for me and Michael, because we know when you're in political, you're in the political bubble that those things can happen. And we don't take this personally because right now that's the problem with politics. Donald Trump and Joe Biden take everything personally. It's not about them, it's about you. But I got my back up. Because when you talk about one military member and mock him, you're mocking every military member. <laughs> Donald Trump has never even so much as been near a military uniform. Apparently, he had bone spurs, and that's why he couldn't serve. The closest he's come to harm's way is getting hit by a golf ball in a golf cart. Our military men and women don't do this for fun. They sacrifice, and they're willing to shed blood because they know it's bigger than that. They know freedom's not free. Seven months ago, I dropped Michael off at 4 a.m. for a year-long deployment. And I watched him and 230 soldiers pick up their two duffel bags of belongings to go to a country they'd never been, all in the name of protecting America. They're willing to sacrifice their lives and their families because they still believe in this amazing experiment that is America. So if they're willing to sacrifice for us there, shouldn't we be willing to fight for America here? Yeah. And we have a country to save. But what we saw from Donald Trump is a pattern. He's referred to military members as suckers and losers. When he went to Arlington National Cemetery, where most people will be choked up, he went and he said, what was in it for them? Why'd they do it? Now he's going to mock my husband. That puts every military member in danger when you do something like that. And when you mock our allies, you're putting our allies in danger in a time where the world is not safe. That is the problem we continue to have. And you look at what we're dealing with. 70% of Americans have said they don't want a Trump-Biden rematch. This, this past weekend, a poll came out, 59% of Americans think Trump is too old and think Biden is too old. The majority of Americans disprove of Joe Biden, the majority of Americans disprove of Donald Trump. And don't you think with a country in disarray and a world on fire, that we can do better than two 80-year-old candidates for president? We need someone who can serve eight years of discipline and hard work to get our country back on track. 